Hi parents, this is Cindy Detlefson from Liberty Middle School and your child is enrolled in my Algebra 1 class so I need to talk to you real quick about the Algebra 1 class some information and there's five things I'm going to touch upon tonight real quick is that we're going to go over test I'm going to talk about this gradeless feedback that the students are actually going to experience for the first time on Friday, September 8th, I think it is. I'm going to talk about the assignments, flipped classroom, answer keys, and when they need help. So first of all, the students took a test today. I think many of you probably heard about it. And it was about solving equations. And we worked with uh, three different sections on solving equations. And I want to show you what the students are going to see on Friday. So first of all, it's called gradeless feedback. And I've been, been doing a lot of reading this summer and a lot of thinking and, and thought about it. So um, I decided I think it's going to be the best way for the students to be engaged on when they receive a test back or a quiz, they will be able to be focused on the mistakes they made versus just the grade. So here's what's going to happen. They're going to receive a test tomorrow. And all I did was I went through and looked at what was happening and I highlighted where a mistake was. And I'm not telling them where the mistake is. So my goal for them when they receive their test back, that they go back and they look. So right now there is no score. I did put how many each are worth. And so they can go through and, I mean, they'll be able to see it and go, okay. So anyway, I'll explain that in here in a second. That didn't make sense. So they can go through and figure out where their mistake is somewhere in this line. From here to here, there's a mistake. And then from here, there, there's a mistake that they did here. So they can go through and analyze it. And if they can't, they can ask a neighbor, hey, can you look at this and help me find my mistake? And I want them to be able to find it uh, without me always correcting it for them. Without a grade, they're not only they're not focused on this. Now, I did take grades, and I do have it on another sheet, but I'm not going to put that in Power School until tomorrow evening. And so then they'll be able to see their grade at that time. So as they go through, and I want them to correct these, and so they understand what they, what they did with their mistakes, okay? Now, here, there's two separate grades that are going to happen in the grade book. So we have one that's solving equations. Equations are already set up, and they're solving it. And then another one that is set up and solved. So setting up the equations and solving them. So those are the word problems. So I had two different um, grades. So let's say your child, um, and I will be offering a retake, on Tuesday during win time. The thing is, they have to make corrections and they have had to make sure that they have all their assignments completed and checked. So this goes into this assignments. I gave them this sheet. It tells us what the assignments are. It tells us what our focus is. And it also gives us a calendar. Now we are kind of way off on this. So actually not too, not too bad. We're a couple days off, um, but that's okay. We can be flexible with this. But the thing is this. We have the assignments, and in their calendar, Google Calendar, is the checking sheets. And the checking sheets have me writing out the, the problems so they can see it. There's no reason why students won't be able to check their work. So that's the one thing in algebra they do need. If they get stuck, they can go and look at it. Now, copying it, I tease them, and I say, that's great. That's a first grade skill. You're not just going to sit and copy. So they have a, a tool for you and them so they don't get frustrated and you don't get frustrated at home going, how did we do this? Um, so let's say that they only need, let's say they did great on their equations, but they did not do a hot job on setting up this and solving the equations. Well, on Tuesday, they can just retake one part of it. They don't need to take the whole thing over. And here's the deal. I take the second score, better or worse. So I just wanted to make sure that they are putting forth the effort, that they are doing what they have to do. Even if it's extra work for them to, to feel very comfortable with, that's fine. And so just wanted to explain that gradeless feedback so they're going to see that for the first time. So again, our assignments, I will always have these for each unit, for each chapter. Um, so they kind of know what's going on and kind of plan ahead. Then flip classroom. I want to I'm going to talk to you about this. Um, the students did one. Really, they didn't. Wasn't really even flip classroom. But I have been making some videos and using these video notes. This weekend is going to be the first time that they are going to experience the flip classroom. They are going to take their notes at home, watch the video, take the notes. So then when they come to the class on Monday, we can use that as a work day. So most of our notes and most of our um, the explanation is taken care of. So then on Monday, they will then be able to go through and, and work while I'm there. 
and we'll also have some furniture there. If they get stuck, they can ask them questions, okay? Um, then, answer key. Oh, answer key, I, like I said before, I handwrite all the answers, and I upload them on the Google Calendar. My classroom's not set up yet, the Google Classroom, but the Google Calendar by day, each day. So I'll have the answer key on there. Okay, now if they are getting stuck and they need the extra help, when time on Tuesday and Thursday is perfect time. I love having that available. And if that does not work, then I'll arrange time before or after school. Um, what I love about the wind time is that sometimes sports and bus and just life gets in the way before and after school. And so that wind time, the 30 minutes on Tuesday or Thursday or both, will help. So I will usually always be able to be available and help students that have questions during that time. So that is real quick in a nutshell, just some Algebra 1 questions. If you have anything else, feel free just to email me. Again, it's Cindy, that's a Y, Detlefson, D-E-T-L-E-F-S-O-N, at lps53.org. So it's Cindy Detlefson, and I'm your child's Algebra 1 teacher. Thank you very much.